all right guys what's up welcome back to any task plus today we are going to be looking at a game series that i have recently um gotten into a little bit i need to play the game a, a lot more and i've only gotten one of the games but still it's a unique and fun game and that of course is fallout and they are getting their own show on amazon and we watched the teaser trailer and it was really cool it was really really cool i'll link that live stream down below where i watched the teaser trailer and it was a decently long trailer it didn't really show us what the show was going to be uh, focusing on it just kind of was like hey we're making a show and here's some epic cinematic shots and it kind of explained fallout a bit but you also kind of had like, to know like what fallout was to understand it this is a three minute and 17 second trailer and i'm really hoping that we get some like actual details on what the heck this show consists of so let's watch this because prime video has made some great content recently and i am actually quite hopeful and i have pretty high expectations when coming to this and i'll explain that all at the end but let's let's go hello there i'm here to show you a wonderful place veritable Camelot of the nuclear age. Not made by God Almighty, but the working man. You can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a vault tank. I really, okay, I, right off the bat, I gotta say, the way that this trailer is, I hope this is how the show is like introduced, or maybe this is a film that somebody discovers or something. I hope they actually use this in the show, because this is very very amazing this is exactly like the beginning of fallout in the beginning of fallout 4 you get debriefed on what's exactly happening there wasn't really a guy walking around but this is a very um they do like these little hand-drawn animation almost like government looking propaganda type deals about like promoting the big entity and this right here it's it's really good it's it's okay. being accurate because if the worst should happen tomorrow the world is going to need you to build a better day after. It's all about you. Oh. Wow, that looks... Wow, that looks really good. The mission of the vaults should be important to everyone. To come up to the surface one day and restart civilization. Sorry for that, guy. what's happened in the last 200 years? Holy shit, you're an actual vault dweller. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I thought all you dipshits were dead. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, not the song, bro. What you're doing is insane. I don't want to set the world. It isn't like the vault out there, it's big. I oh just want to start. Uh. I've had a rough week. And practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. I'm simply going to harvest oh. your organs. What? What? You need to go home. You come from a world of rules, of laws. You should not be alone. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me? Oh, wow. People are going to come after you. Ain't much stage clean up here, Vaulty. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. People are lovely. Let's go. Oh, wow. Look out at this wasteland. Looks like chaos, but there's always somebody behind the wheel. Wow, those special effects what are crazy. Is happening here? Everyone wants to save the world, they just disagree on how hmm. there you are you little 
Angela. Dang. All episodes come out at once? Oh, wow. I'm about to binge watch the whole show that day. Dang. Okay. Some things to keep account for on here, or, uh, to notice. First of all, we have this guy here. He looks like he'll be a main character. Somewhat of a narrator, he kind of looks like as an unreliable narrator because he's giving us his perspective here, but then we see him like kissing some lady over in the, the more cinematic shots, um, I guess you could say, or the, the shots that like take us really into the depths of the story. So he's a working player on this introductory fill us in type thing and um, in the actual story itself. The other thing is there's a sense of, the, this show has captured the like somewhat eerie vibe of the games, which is fabulous and which is what this game's this adaptation needed was to be a little bit creepy a little unnerving and this also has a lot of story beats that look like the game we're kind of having like all these different kind of almost like faction warfare is what it's looking like and then yeah, towards the end it looks like we have like this cowboy guy and her pretty close and then this other dude who is like in the vault tech armor um this guy this guy right here that was in this armor right here he looks like he's actually going to become um an ally uh or something throughout this thing and it looks like in it, like an apocalyptic type deal like an all-out apocalyptic war and it's like grab the allies from each faction and hope that they stay true to their character in like the final stages you know um of the show so it looks pretty cool it just said all episodes i'm thinking we might get eight episodes um but this is this is shaping up to be really good um the special effects on like this monster sea creature here it's just phenomenal and the suit just looks so good the makeup on this cowboy dude the little shots here where it's like shooting or showing us all these different things is like so cool this guy's trying to be like a hero from the vault as the nuclear bomb's going off so they're gonna give us like the backstory and this little girl looks like she grows up to be somebody else that we see in the trailer um we're probably gonna like really get detailed and it looks like this is directly gonna be based off of fallout 4 in particular it might mix elements of the others but fallout 4 is probably one of the most uh not the most well known but it is the more recent fallout that was good as they had fallout 4 and then 76 which 76 was the most recent but it was not well received fallout 4 if i'm not wrong got game of the year and is the most recent that was well received by the community but this looks like how you're supposed to do a video game adaptation. We're getting little Easter eggs that kind of nod toward the series of the games. We're seeing all these different locations and characters and familiar faces um, of characters that we have encountered on the journey. And I am just very excited to watch this one. This one is one that when they announced it i was like oh that's kind of cool and then i played the game and i kind of forgot i believe i kind of forgot that the thing was even gonna come out or maybe i started to play the game after the first teaser i don't know i don't know but i watched the teaser trailer and i was like dang this is this is good like it's being loyal to the game and it looks fun and kind of creep like not super creepy just like a little bit eerie with the right amount of like apocalyptic end of times type story so this one this one is one to not sleep on. Uh, this is going to be so much fun. I'll probably cover it on the main channel once it all comes out. Uh, and yeah, this is going to be a blast. I really hope it does not disappoint because, you know, we've gotten a lot of video game adaptations over the years and it's really only gotten better in the recent years. And some of the recent stuff was not great. Like in my opinion, Mortal Kombat, the movie, I thought that was a fun movie. A lot of people didn't really like Mortal Kombat. Super Mario Bros. movie? I thought that was a cool movie. Some people didn't like it, but the majority did. 
Five Nights at Freddy's movie came out last year, and that was a very split one. Uh, the Uncharted movie came out a few years back. Very split movie, you know? So, like, those are two movies that were well, uh, or recent that were split. And then you have, like, the Sonic series, which is just doing wonders for the gaming industry. And now we're getting, like, all these different shows and movies. And, you know, if this does good, and if Bethesda wants to work with Prime again, I hope... I really hope they make a Doom TV show. I mean, a movie would honestly be better, but if Prime just wants to do a series, then that's cool. Any Doom adaptation that's actually faithful to the games would be so much fun. But uh, for now, that is all. I hope you all are doing well and that you all enjoyed this marvelous trailer. And I hope that you all will go watch the show and then come back to see what I have to say about the entire series. Um, the last, oh, the last point I was gonna hit. Honestly, this looks like it's gonna be a mini series, like a one season show, which is kind of a disappointment. But hey, you know, yeah, what were they supposed to do? Like all episodes drop on one day, and that that does kind of frighten me a bit. Like, are they trying to do that so you can binge watch? But then again, Netflix does that all the time, so I, I don't know. Maybe they have a lot of confidence and they know it will generate a lot of hype. But um. It, maybe just i wonder if prime does that in the past i haven't really paid attention i know some of their series go weekly but i don't know if like their bigger shows like the boys drop every week or it's all at once i don't really know but anyways peace out everybody let me know what you think down below and if you guys are real like huge into fallout let me know so i know is this actually looking super duper accurate to the games and does it look like it's going to be a fun adaptation that's accurate cool and just a marvelous time or does it look like it's completely missing the mark? That means that peace out and see you all in the next.